you're welcome to my YouTube channel. This is, is Bruce Tutor. And what I do on this YouTube channel, I solve technical drive problems and also provide important information that you need in having a better performance in your technical drawing examinations. And if you're a technical drawing student, I welcome you and I want to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and put on notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And help me to share my videos with your friends who are also technical drawing students. And don't forget to practice this subject. You need to practice this so that you can master it. Now, um, what I want to do right now, I want to solve this question nine on this engineering drawing one by pick up a packer some someone actually requested that i should help to solve this particular question and that is what i want to show you how to do right now now let me read the question for us to know what we want to and uh, what we are given and what we want to do the question here says that draw a rectangular hyperbola having a point on the curve 18 millimeters from the vertical asymptotes and 76 millimeters from the horizontal asymptote. So those, that is the question, and I'm going to show you the point, where we're going to put the point, the vertical asymptote and the horizontal asymptote right now. So let's go and look at what we want to do. So the first thing that I need to do here is to draw a horizontal line. So draw a horizontal line like this, okay? Then with your cell square, with your cell square, okay. All right, so I believe you can see it like this. So with your cell square, draw a vertical line, okay. Now, so let's call this a uh, vertical line. So let's call this vertical line. Let's call it vertical line. So this is O. OB okay and this is OE so now so this is the vertical asymptotes OB is vertical vertical asymptotes and OA is the horizontal asymptote okay then we need to locate the point that is 18 millimeters from the vertical asymptote and 76 millimeters from the horizontal asymptote. So before you can locate the point, so let's take a measurement of 76 millimeters on this vertical asymptote. So this is 76 millimeters. So then we will draw horizontal line from this point. So we draw horizontal line from this point. So draw horizontal line here. So like this. So let's call this horizontal line. Can we see it? Okay. All right, let's call this horizontal line. Let's call it horizontal line uh, C. So C E or C D. Let's call it C D. Okay. Then we we'll take a measurement of 18 millimeters. Measurement of 18 millimeters from point C to locate the point that we are told that it is 18 millimeters from the vertical asymptote. So this is 18 millimeters. So on this point, so on this point, so we draw a vertical line that will be parallel to the vertical asymptote and CD is parallel to the horizontal asymptote. So we draw a vertical line so we draw a vertical line here, like this. So this vertical line that is parallel to vertical asymptote, so let's call it EF. So this is point E and this is point F. Now, okay, so now having done this, so this is the point that we are told that it is 18 millimeters from the vertical asymptote, so I'll call it point P. All right, so the locate other points so that you can draw the rectangular hyperbola that you have to draw. So what you just need to do is that you take some distances on this line. So on this line, so uh, take some distances. So I'm going to take, so this is, I'm going to take this. The first point I will take 20 millimeters. 
So the next point I will take 25 millimeters. So the next point I will take 30 millimeters. And the next one I will take 35 millimeters. So this is 35. Um, one, two, three. So this is 35 millimeters. So uh, this point that I've taken, I may be wondering. So why did I take uh, 20, 25, 30, 35? So why are they not of equal, uh, equal, dist uh, equal distance? There's no problem. You can make them equal. Uh, you can make them unequal. So it's not compulsory. They are equal. So and. Okay, so I'm going to number this point. I believe that is clear. I'm going to number this point. So this is point one, this is point two, this is point three, and this is point four. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do now is that from this point O here, from this point O, where the vertical and the horizontal asymptotes intersect, so you draw a line from this point. Draw a line from this point to meet this point one, and you draw again, draw again from here, so from O to meet point two, like this, and you draw from O again to meet point three, like this, and you draw again from O to meet point four, to meet point four. So draw it like this. Okay. Now, so with what we have done right now, so with your set square, with your set square, and then again, so wherever this line, this line now, this line one, you touch this uh, line EF at this point. You touch it at this point. You touch it at this point, and you touch it at this point. So this point goes to one. So I will call this point. I will call it one prime. Then you touch this point, this line that goes to two at this point. So I call this two prime, and this I will call a three prime, and this is four prime. Okay. Now, so the next thing that we are going to do is that, um, so from point one, so from point one, on line C D, so draw a vertical line down. Okay, draw a vertical line down, and this point one prime on line EF. So draw a horizontal line like this. So these two lines they intersect here. So we are going to make use of the point of intersection of the lines. So they intersect here. So I believe you can see it. So the next one for two. So from point two on line CD, draw a vertical line like this. Okay, so on line two prime at point two prime on line EF, draw a horizontal line like this. So these two lines they intersect here. They intersect here. So you take note of that. So the next is so from point three on line CD, so draw a vertical line down. Then point three prime on line EF draw horizontal line. So they intersect at this point. They intersect here. Okay. So and then the next one is from point four on line CD. So draw a vertical line like this. And from point four prime on line EF draw a horizontal line. So here they intersect at this point. So it intersect here. All right. So now, so having done this, the next thing that we are going to do is that we need to locate a point around here. So just take a distance and just take like I'll just take like five millimeters. I take like five millimeters. This is the work that I've verified. So if I take five millimeters, this is okay. I only need one point up here. Only need one point up here. I can't have more than one point because of the space that we have here. If this space is more than this, I can li have like uh, more than one point, like two points. But this space, by the time I take another point here, it will go out and I will not be able to get the point on this line. So now, so uh, from this point, I'm going to draw this point that I've taken here. I took five millimeters from point P 
to this point. So you are going to draw a line to draw a line passing through this point here. So draw a line passing through this point and touching this line EF at this point. So this point I will call it 0.5 prime. So this is 0.5 prime. So then I'm going to draw I'm going to draw a vertical line from this point here on line CD. So I'll draw a vertical line here. So it goes up like this. Then I will draw horizontal line from here. I'll draw horizontal line from here. So meeting this line at this point. So this is the point of intersection. So they intersect here. Okay, so all these points, I'm going to join them together in the use of a French cup. So we have to take it easy for us to be able to bring out the cup that we need, which is a rectangular hyperbola. This method is known as circumscribing rectangle method. Circumscribing rectangle method. And the the curve that we are getting is known as rectangular hyperbola, as said in the question. So, I believe all the explanations that I made here are clear to you. Okay? So, I'm joining the point together to bring out the curve. To bring out the curve. Okay? All right, so, so the last one is this one that I want to join now, okay? All right, so this is the rectangular hyperbola that we are asked to produce. It's as simple as I've shown it here. All you need to do is to practice it. When you practice it, you master it. And thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And God bless you.